Right now you're watching Blatantly Blunt TV, all right? All right, it's a Blatantly Blunt exclusive interview. Myself, Nick Blatantly Blunt, alongside Scatter. What's going Jeez, on, sir? What's good, man? You good? How you been? Yeah, man. So you're down here in London for yeah. one extra appearance on Cy and Anderson's show. Yeah, man. That's a big look, bro. Not many yeah, MCs man. get to get to that level of things, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, you man. must be pretty gassed out at the minute. Yeah, man. It's yeah. live, man. It's good to be out here. Definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wait, so you come down from Coventry, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, long journey or not too bad? What, two hours? Two hours. All right, yeah, so it was like what? Like what? Yeah, six, six, six. So at the minute you're pushing the current single, which is the the re, the, the remake of Has It Come to This by yeah, the Streets, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. How did you guys pick that particular track? Well, basically I was at work, I was working in the warehouse. Yeah. And um, they had this Ministry of Sound all of Garage CD on, mm. and I heard the, the Has It Come to This tune playing. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, this takes me back a yeah. few years, and yeah. so I was like, yo, I need to find a beat for this. Yeah. And I saw that Cry Wolf made something, so I hit him up, got the beat, and then boom, just took it from there, and then. Everything's just gone. Phew. Yeah, bro, definitely. I think you know what it is because that's like a classic vintage UK yeah, track, yeah, man. Yeah. That was from way back in 2002, man. Yeah, that's yeah, a little yeah. while back. So, yeah, man, that went. So, I think people are happy to hear that tune come back and yeah. have it refresh with new MCs and that, man. Yeah, man. it's got some good feedback, definitely, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, obviously, that's the first of your big like singles that you launch. What's, yeah. what's coming up next for Scatter? What's, uh, what's, what's the what's the follow up? What's the follow up? There's going to be a music video for Has It Come to This, and then obviously I've got my Scatter pieces, the soundtrack, which yeah. comes with a music video as well. Scatter pieces, yeah, scatter dreams. Watch out, scatter pieces, scatter through the scene. Oh, oh, I scatter pieces, it's scatter pieces, I scatter pieces. I'm just letting you know the world gonna have to see this. I mean it, you can't ask the world to keep a secret. Keep dreaming, you're dreaming, I'll shatter your dreams to pieces. Um, after that, it's Godiva Festival. Okay, same. Uh, 2nd of July. Um, yeah, we're supporting Young Gun and oh, shit. DWE. Oh, right. JK, Sox is there. Um, yeah, man, and obviously I've got the album, July 10th. Wow, so, that, so that's dropping July 10th and it's going to have like, how many tracks on there? Uh, it should be 10 to 15, depending on the quality of the music, because I want it all to be equally sick. Like, okay, yeah. yeah, so it's like album level quality yeah. stuff, but yeah. you're going to give it out... As a free mixtape. As a free, free mixtape, just yeah, to build your fan base. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that's the best way to do it in terms of like, recouping later on? Is that why you're doing it? So kind of yeah, building yeah. your status up now? Yeah, yeah, build it up now, because later on it will be more beneficial then, won't it? So. That's it, man. Yeah. It's a good tactic, definitely, bro. Yeah, All right, so obviously you're, you're kind of, you're not just grime, you're not just hip hop which which one would you say which one you sit closer to for, in your heart closer to hip hop but yeah. grime's, grime's always been in my heart as well mm. it started off on grime and okay like into like rap like so obviously grime for me it was like an yeah, easier thing to do like rap it's like more of a storytelling yeah like, yeah you know what i mean you put your life experiences into your rap music okay. you? like but your grime is just get the rave gas in it like. okay but which of them did you grow up listening to uh, both both okay both. so you had like 50 yeah. 50 in terms of like yeah, it growing was, up it was but. more grime in it like growing up yeah. Okay, and your name's Scatter, how did that come about? Oh, that's mad, I was actually yeah. with this girl, I was going out with this girl, I was okay. finishing school, and yeah. my brother was like, yo, I thought of an MC name for you, man, he's coming, I was like, you're Scatter Kid, isn't it? I'm like, okay. yo, Scatter Kid, I was like, sweet, and then obviously I got a bit older, yeah. I was just like, call me Scatter, I lost the kid part, but yeah, man. Oh, nice, nice, so you're kind of seen as like, one of the lead figures amongst your amongst your crew, amongst yeah, your yeah. age group in, in Coventry, yeah? Yeah, man. Okay, so how would you describe the Coventry sound compared to say the Birmingham, like Wolverhampton sound or the London sound? How would you, what's the main differences you think that that, scene, that, that, that city's got that the other ones don't really have? The accents and what it's people accent, like, yeah. can tell in, because like, that city's not really been put on. It's yeah, been yeah, yeah. Everyone's a lot more hungrier. Okay. Like, Everyone just wants it. Like, yeah. like other cities are probably like a bit more laid back now because they've been in the limelight for so long. Mm. But like obviously Coventry's coming through now, so you guys have got something to prove, something yeah. to show the other dudes yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In, in the Midlands yeah, and that got, kind of thing. Yeah. We've got literally, man. Like we've got a scene that's building in Coventry. It's not a full-on scene mm. yet, but it's building scene. And we're just trying to get that out there, especially across over to London as well. Like. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. And what about other international collabs? I see you. I see you on Facebook the other day. You were spitting yeah. some bars. Um, what was it outside of? Um, was it uh, over some American beat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got a, got a bigger fan base in America than I have in the UK. For real? Yeah. Okay. Like, I got more fans in Detroit than I have in Coventry. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. But yeah, man, I've worked with people from Detroit, uh, Mississippi, oh, uh, wow. Miami. Um, Mad. Like, all over. How do those come about, man? It's like internet link ups. Yeah, literally, or? man. Literally oh, internet link ups and like, I've got a cousin who lives in Miami, and he's like got my CDs and that, and he's like passing them out to Mad. DJs and that. And Mad. Then, like my mate Brian, he's actually from America, moved to Germany, and mm. like, his family live in America. 
and he's got them just giving out our CDs to people. And that. Okay, so you got a Even street team Germany, over in the yeah. States and in yeah. Europe and, and that kind yeah, of thing, and Germany, it's all building up. That's yeah, good yeah, to see, man. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. How long you been spitting? Because like, you're quite well, early in your career, isn't it? Yeah. Well, basically, I started making music in 2008, but then okay. I stopped from 2010 to 2012, and then started picking up properly from there. Okay. And how old are you now? Yeah, I'm 20 now. 20. Yeah, yeah. So you've been. De- so you've been spitting since you were a kid, basically, yeah, even before you were a teenager, yeah. so it's definitely in your heart, yeah, man. man. Yeah, it's yeah, for sure. Been there, isn't it? Like, for sure. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, sick, man. So, what's the next step after you've do- Have you got any plans as yet? So, you got this single out now, and yeah. then you're dropping the next single, which is yeah. Scattered Pieces. Yeah. And you're doing a video for both of those. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and you're going to follow that up with your album. With the album. Yeah, I'm going to so hopefully drop that at the Diver Festival. So, it's like, we've got somewhere to actually like showcase the album instead of just dropping it and losing all the connection yeah, with yeah, the yeah. people, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, so, you're going to drop that in time with the festival? Yeah, yeah, in time. Good look, man. So you got the whole thing mapped out on yeah, your head, man. And say one year from now or two years from now. Say two years from now. Yeah. What's the best possible scenario right now for Skeletor? Uh, two years time. Two years time. Fire in a booth. Fire in a booth. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see when that happens, man. Yeah. I man. wish you were the best, bro. Thank you, man. Let any blunt. Yeah, man. Let any blunt. We got everyone. <laughs> Keep it pyro. Yo, it's Skeletor Pyro Radio. Motive on the decks. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping it pyro, the society scattering the building. Yo, listen. Yo, when SK walked in the sound lab, he made a fresh beat with no sound tags. And if that ain't original, loud that this that rap like yeah, I'm about that. Don't spit why if you don't sell that. I'm like Mario, yo, you are like Bowser. I'ma take your dogs into the shelter and make them feel small like Santa's helper. They don't sell this behind the counter. Me just spitting on a tune, that's a soundtrack. Yeah, we got so far and we were how back. Now we on TV, it's a meltdown Now they listen up, cause we lift it up and we don't give up What they think of us, it's all good if we ain't been in touch You say you miss me much, yeah that's intricate Yeah, so they thought I would let it go, go. Better me never, the head is so metaphorical Why devil and I come and if they did it all, I said it all at once So who wants to test it all? Crisis, got no love for the federal I saw buzz, got a wanna, got a better all All night, staying up, all right, setting off No games, no, no jokes, jokes, not comical Keep it pyro